Day seven of training camp, we got a Jermaine Johnson signing, and Zach Wilson has himself a perfect birthday. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, we are talking day seven of training camp. That's right. Pads are still on. Zach Wilson has himself a great day. We get a Jermaine Johnson sighting. Whole bunch of stuff that we get to go over. So let's jump right into it. First story of the day, Zach Wilson, our boy, celebrating a 23rd birthday in a very, very cool fashion. Zach Wilson winds up going a perfect Eight of eight in 11-on-11 11 11 drills. He winds up throwing a touchdown to Tyler Conklin as well as a two-point conversion to Elijah Moore. So Zach Wilson has himself a perfect day across the board. If you're keeping tally of all these training camp practices, Zach Wilson has had far more good days than he has bad days. But you'll, you may not know it because a lot of people <laughs> are talking about like, you know, oh, the this, this sky's falling. He had under 50% completion percentage at this practice, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear it. This guy's going to be good. It's time to start getting more excited than you were before. This guy, this guy's going to be good. What do you think he's doing on his birthday? Let me know that in the in the comment section down below. I'm curious to see what you guys wind up saying for this one. I think we could get some funny answers. Uh, next up, we got Jermaine Johnson and the defense and everything. Jermaine Johnson winds up getting his first sack. He gets it on Joe Flacco. And I want to talk a little bit uh, about him as well as our boy Quinn and Williams. So, Jermaine Johnson traded up for him at the back end of the first round. This dude is like, I don't, he's not being forgotten about because of how exciting that trade up was, but I don't think the expectation for him this season is as high as maybe you'd expect like a top level pass rusher to be. And I think a lot of that falls on the rotation that we're expecting from our defensive line. It seems like there's going to be a heavy uh, mix of fresh legs on that defensive line. So Jermaine Johnson finally getting into the backfield. I think he's starting to settle back in. Hopefully this is a continued growth thing and we hear a bunch more sacks uh, later on. And then uh, Quinnen Williams is absolutely having a great camp. He's going up against some high level interior offensive linemen. The strength of our offensive line, Lakin Tomlinson, Elijah Vera Tucker, Connor McGovern, right in the center of that line. And he is blowing dudes up. Quinnen has absolutely been elite this camp, and I'm looking forward to seeing what winds up happening with him in terms of total sacks throughout the course of this season, because we were looking at like double digit sacks, like hoping this dude's going to like really, really go off, be that Aaron Donald level defensive tackle. And I think now that he has the edge rushers like a Jermaine Johnson, like a Carl Lawson, we haven't seen Vinny Curry yet to my knowledge. Um, but we have some depth on the defensive line that I think is going to help out Quinnen really get those one-on-one -on -one matchups up the middle uh, of the opposing team's offensive line. So he could be in line for a massive payday at the end of the season. So it's going to be something that we're going to be keeping an eye on all season long because Quinnen has really been a good jet and I would like to see him stay here long-term uh, across the board. Uh, then we wind up getting a little bit of kicking news and it's not super duper exciting. Eddie Pinheiro was the only one that kicked today. Three of four, he wound up missing a 55-yard kick. I'm not going to get on him about missing a 55-yard kick. It's a hard kick to hit anyway, but uh, I'm not sure what the other three were. It seemed like he had some pretty long kicks within those three makes, so something to be uh, mindful of. I guess he's doing all right. Uh, Greg the Leg Zerline did not kick today, so nothing uh, to take away or brag about, I guess, so... That's really it for training camp for today. Not a whole lot going on. There was the defense really winning at the point of attack, but Zach Wilson having a perfect day throwing really offsets all the uh, the headaches that I think we had going on with the defensive line beating up our offensive line. But guys, let me know your thoughts and takeaways from today's training camp. Let me know in the comments section down below. And as always, go Jets.